Hey, it's Chris here and welcome to video three. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue with our ClickBank campaign as an example. So <clears throat> it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, let me go over here to Bing Ads. Let me just reopen the tab here because I had it closed out. And we're going to just grab that link and finish uh, creating our campaign. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So. Uh, you don't want to grab this. This is the HTML code. Um, this is this is where you'd put it if you were putting on like a blog. But you want to grab this top link uh, right here. So you're going to go ahead and copy this top link, and you can just direct link to the offer is what we're actually going to end up doing. So <clears throat> here I am in Bing Ads uh, right here, and so um, you always want to go to the campaigns tab. So make sure you're on the campaigns tab, and. Uh, what you want to do is you want to create your first campaign. So I have quite a few campaigns set up. So go ahead and click on Create Campaign. It's always going to be Search and Content Campaign is what we're going to end up choosing. All right, give that a second to load. Now I'm going to zoom in so you can see this as I go through it. As you can see, you want to name the campaign. So uh, what I usually do, because I'm in multiple networks and multiple CPA networks like Cash Network, there's Max Bounty, there's PeerFly, there's ClickBank. You may have heard of some of these. You typically want to name it um, the name of the network. So I would name this ClickBank because I'm in ClickBank. That's where I got the offer from. And I would name it um, just Click for Surveys, which is the name of the offer. So I'll go ahead and put Click for Surveys. And this is just a great way for you to identify it. So you can actually name your campaign anything. So if you're doing a weight loss campaign, you can name it weight loss. If the weight loss campaign is in ClickBank, you know, name it ClickBank weight loss, or you can put ClickBank in the name of the offer. As long as you're able to identify the offers, because as you can see, when you start creating a lot of campaigns here, um, you know, it can get pretty difficult. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of campaigns that I have created, and it's good to uh, name them accordingly, so that way you can track them. Time zone, you're just going to want to put your time zone. It's not uh, uh, if you if you miss this or you forget to do this on one of your campaigns, it's not the end of the world, but for repro for reporting purposes, it's easy to um, uh, see exactly how your campaign ran because it's going to actually show the campaigns in your time zone. So if you choose a time zone that's uh, eight hours ahead of you, your campaigns are going to look all weird and you're going to wonder, you know, why you're not getting any clicks or impressions. So picking the time zone is very important. So just pick the time zone that you're in and then uh, you should be good to go. Campaign budget, now when we're always starting off with a, with a campaign, we always only choose $5. It's just that simple. We don't have to go higher than $5. There's no need to do 10, 15, or 20. You always wanna just set at $5, okay? And I'm in USD, so if you're in another uh, currency, you're gonna have to either convert that currency over or change your account to uh, US dollars. So I'm not sure exactly how to do that since I'm already in US dollars, but you may be able to change your account to USD. If not, you'll have to convert it because we're using five US dollars per day. Uh, locations, this is very important because uh, by default, it's going to select your home country. So if you're in Canada, it's going to say Canada here. Or if you're in the United States like I am, it's going to say United States. So what it comes down to is you need to ask yourself, okay, what exactly, uh, you know, what exactly am I promoting and what countries do they allow? So a good example is, let me go over to Cash Network and I'll show you. It's going to log in here and uh, show you. Okay. Some offers only allow traffic from certain countries. So if I go over here to campaigns and, uh, you know, if I just pick an offer at random, let's just say 1346 here, you know, they only allow traffic from the U.S. and it tells you U.S. conversion only. Um, if I actually go back into the offer, it tells me uh, geographic restriction traffic allowed from U.S. So I wouldn't want to run ca a campaign that goes to all available countries and regions, or I wouldn't want to run a campaign um, just to Canada. I'd only want to run traffic from the United States. So it's very important. And if you're choosing a ClickBank product like this, um, you know, it doesn't usually tell you the demographics. So what you want to know, and this is very important, is you want to know your top tier one countries or your tier one countries. And what do I mean by tier one countries? Well, these are all English speaking buying countries. So there's the USA. You can you can write these down or memorize these. I haven't memorized because I use them so much. But this USA, um, you have Canada, you have Australia. United Kingdom, and New Zealand. Those are it. Those are your top tier countries. There's five top tier countries. 
Um, now, I'm not saying that other countries won't buy, but we use these top five countries because these are the five countries that have money to spend. They all have, you know, credit cards. They all have wealth. So you can actually advertise pretty much in these five countries if your product doesn't give you the, the demographics or if you're promoting your own products. USA, Canada, Australia, UK, and New Zealand are going to be the five countries that are going to produce you sales or at least the most sales. So um, in this case, since it's a ClickBank product, I'm gonna go ahead and put these five countries in. So what you have to do is you actually have to click selected cities, states, provinces. And what's really cool is you can target a specific city. So if you wanted to target, target Los Angeles, you could target just Los Angeles. Or if you wanted to only target California or a state or a province that you're in, you can target that specifically. So I'm gonna actually type in United States. You just type it out just like that. Um, if you misspell it, it's not going to show up. So after you type it out, just click the little search icon, and then you have to click Target. It's not going to just add it to the list until you click Target. And this is uh, when it does this, that means it's been added. We're going to go to United Kingdom. All right, it doesn't matter what order you go in. As long as you add those top tier five, oops, see Canada, I need that in there. So I'll search in Target, um, Australia, and then New Zealand. Okay, so make sure you spell these right. And then you get two for Australia, just choose both. Um, and then uh, New Zealand, target. And there you go. And don't worry about increasing the, the percentage. Just leave everything the way it is. So now we're telling being, okay, got my campaign name. We're at a $5 budget in my, in, you know, in my time zone for reporting. And I want to target these five countries. We're looking really good so far. And, uh, you know, I want to show ads to people in your targeted location. Don't pick these two because the first one, you could have someone searching from a proxy site or you could have someone searching um, in India that, you know, they type in uh, United States uh, surveys or, you know, whatever, you, whatever you're promoting and they can see your ad, you know, and we don't want to show those ads to those people. So you only want to show ads to people in your targeted location that's going to give you the best results uh, for what we're doing. All right, so far so good. So we're gonna create our first ad. We need to do an ad title and uh, fill everything out here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to ClickBank, and if you remember, I have it pulled up here. I need this URL, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it again. And this is gonna be my destination URL. Okay, so it can be you can direct link or you can use a link tracker to track it. Uh, you can use link trackers like Q QCC or Click Magic or Track Me or any tr any click or any click tracker of your choice. I personally like and recommend Click Magic. That's the one that I usually use for tracking. But uh, if you don't have a click tracker, it's not the end of the world. You can just direct link like I did right there. Display URL. Your display URL should is just a way to make uh, your your ads look really nice. So the display URL. Um, what the product is about. So I would just do www.paidsurveys.com. I realize I'm kind of going backwards here, but I want to get these two out of the way. And what I'm trying to get at is that this display URL doesn't have to be a real domain. It doesn't have to be your website. It can link to another website. Because when the user sees the ad, this is your preview, um, you don't want your ad to see, you know, you don't want your user to see 2423. Clickbank.com. First of all, that's not going to fit. The destination URL won't fit in the display URL. So this display URL is simply something to make your ad look nice. So it could really be anything you want. So www. You know anything you want. Com. You know as long as it fits. And the domain doesn't have to be real or it doesn't have to be your website. But I usually do a keyword that's relevant to what I'm promoting. So if I was promoting weight loss, I could do www.loseweightfast.com. All right, so you get the idea. Pretty easy, pretty simple to do. Uh, let's go back over here, click for surveys. How do you come up with a really good ad title and ad text? Now, if you're not very good at writing ad titles or ad text, watch how easy this is. You're allowed to do this. Go over to Google and just type a keyword for your offer. So I would go to Google and I would type in paid surveys. Now, obviously, for promoting a weight loss product, you would not type paid surveys. You would type weight loss or how to lose weight fast. Okay, I'm looking at other people's ads. Well, these are all ads over on the side. These are all ads up here. And typically what I do is I'll just copy an ad that I like. Usually the ads that you see at the top are performing really well. So I like this one, seriously, $90 a survey. So I'll copy that. You're just gonna copy the text and I'm gonna make that my ad title. 
All right, so as long as you're not using brand names or trademarks, you're okay because you're not breaking any copyright. So if you were, uh, you know, if you saw a brand name in the ad title or the ad text, so if there's, you know, ever brand names in the ad titles, like you, you know, Swagbucks is a brand name or a, a trademark. So you would not want to use that because um, you want to be compliant. So um, this is fine. Seriously, $90 a survey, and you're more than welcome to reword it too. So if you want to seriously, you know, $20 a survey or however you want to tweak it. Um, and then uh, I'll go ahead and copy this for my description. Once again, look at it. Make sure you're not using any copyright or brand names. If it looks good, then I'm going to go ahead and leave it just like that. So pretty cool that's my first ad I just got my idea from Google you can use basically any of these uh, same thing works so if you're promoting a weight loss offer you could come over here and you know type in how to lose weight uh, if it's a credit card offer or a reduced debt offer <clears throat> let's see these are the top performing ads diet plans to lose weight teen weight loss help a lot of different uh, <clears throat> copies that you can use okay um, like I said, if not, you can create the ad title and the ad text yourself, but I typically just copy, and, and this is the method most people use that, you know, you know, some people don't like writing the ad copies or the ad titles because it's a little bit of work, takes a little bit of thinking, but if not, then it's all just copy and paste. So far, we're so good, right? All righty, awesome. I think we're looking good. We have our destination URL, and then we're down here to the keywords. So in the next video, um, we're just going to go through and recap here. So we named our campaign. Make sure everything looks good. Your budget's five U.S. dollars per day, or an equivalent currency if you're in a if you're in a different country. Um, selected city, states, provinces. We got the five countries, and we are good to go. So in the next video, I'll show you how to pick the keywords, why we pick the keywords, and really the secret to getting you know five to ten cent clicks. So I'll see you in the next video, and thank you for watching this.